Good evening. What a strange turn of events to be doing a cheeky little stream on Saturday night once more. It has been a little while since we've done this. This camera just isn't moving with the rotation of the thing. What up, Davis? Not David. Nice to see you. Or rather, Guten Tag. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What a fool. Uh, right. Let's get this fucking game on, man. Let's also make sure I can hear it in my headphones. So this is a charming little indie point and click game that I've been meaning to play for a while. Um, I was following this from like the early stages of development as well because a rapper by the name of Astronautless, you can see him doing a live show. You can see him doing a live show as part of his duo Forfis, and you can see him get interviewed all on this channel. Uh, anyway, he posted something about it fucking a long time ago. I was like, what's this? So I started following it from that point. Anyway, today I've been playing a lot of it. So I'm already seven and a half hours nearly in. But we're not going to pick up there, obviously. We're going to start fresh. So let's just get into it. As usual, if the volumes are a little off for you guys at home, I will adjust them so you can hear my beautiful voice. I think it's a pretty quiet game anyway though, so no biggie. Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I actually read a review of this in a recent PlayStation magazine. This is all irrelevant because she doesn't remember any of them. Um, yeah, and it only got like a six and that was because the puzzles are quite easy. And it turns out, yeah, they are. There's only a couple that I, like, that I encountered that I struggled a little bit with. It's pretty by the numbers, which is, you know, nice if you want to just chill out and just play something. Especially in one of my favourite genres of Vigi game. So, because I know what I'm doing, let's try not to fuck about too much. No way. A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. I'm going to try not to click to skip dialogue as well for you, uh, your benefit. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. Bear with me. Right. Uh, I was actually going to say something and now I can't fucking remember. Oh shit. It fits. That was I mean, well, you're not listening. I literally just explained. Charming indie point and click game. I first saw a rapper post about a year, maybe two ago. So I've been following it since then. And then I remembered. Actually, no, I've been seeing things, bits in there and going, oh shit, yeah. I wonder how that's getting on. Check it out. And I saw it get uh, a mediocre score in PlayStation magazine. And there you go. And I've had it since it came out. I've just been waiting. I think I, I want to do it as a series, but I've been playing it today and I thought, oh, fuck it, I'm going to stream this bitch. Pitch black. We can't even see our own hands. There's something funny about the picture. <coughs> Switch. This must be the main fuse. 
So as I say, I've been playing this today for nearly seven and a half hours. Extra large, no refill. Oh no, please don't play that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, so I've been playing this for a little while. Actually, I did something with this early on and I, I don't remember. Well, I, I kind of wanted to check out what would happen if I didn't do this straight away. But I'm going to do it straight away because fuck it. Electrical cables. Zip. Right, remembering something. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me. Oh, I Quite think... Track. From what I remember... Oh, bollocks. That's something that happens a lot. Um, I click off to the side and I accidentally click over on what's going on, on my second monitor. So I get booted out of the game real quick. Right. Pool of water now. I think cutting that wire made this immediately defrost. So. I'm use it with the cuppy cup. Because the motorbike's overheated as well, oh, by the way. Ice. Exactly what I need. There you go. Have Volume okay? Healing. You can hear me and the game. If not, remember I can, you know, change that. Now they are working again. Drink. You must be dying on thirst. More than like free fuel. Oof. Cheeky bonus. And away we go. Done. Finally, we can make off again. Much quicker than uh, when I did it the first time. Because obviously you can click and look at fucking everything. Oh, come on. Start already. Well, what have I missed? It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. And now the actual game with the actual person we're going to be playing with. Is that too loud? Is everything fine? Excellent, that's what I like to hear. I was fucking around with a bunch of settings the other day because I actually recorded some vocals. Uh, a bunch of different demos. Which is exciting. So I don't know if I put everything back to where it needs to be, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be recording properly on Monday. Very excited for that. The first time me and Krusty have recorded together since Christmas single a year and a half ago and that was just fucking sat down in the fifth age we haven't had a proper night right let's fucking make some music in ages Preloge. I believe that's co the uh, correct pronunciation. Preloge. I think there's a whole heap of fuck all to do in this area. Um, I don't know. I'm deeply sorry. 
When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. I was hoping rapid clicking would make him move fast. It does when he's not carrying a fucking suitcase. This is where ordinarily you look at literally fucking everything. If you press spacebar, you can see all the stuff you can interact with. See all these little red crosses? What a cheeky treat that is. I'm not going to do any of that though. So here's, uh, here's a foxy friend. We'll be having some dealings with him. Arrived at destination after a short walk. Kruberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with Hello. this town already. Hello. Yeah, what did Nex say about that there? Uh, Nex said, yeah, we've, we've actually clocked this as being fraudulent. Don't worry, let's fucking smash this shit in the tits. So they shut it down. They shut the account down and put me on some list whereby no one can try and open an account with them in my name. Okay. Unless I do it with proper details. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. Dear Mr. Mines, thank you for letting us know your recent change of address. Your new address details have been updated and you might take Are you reading your head? Why is the floor wet now? Why is the floor soaking, Jay? I don't know. No, I mean like it puddled under the bin on the side of the fridge. Right, because dickheads have been in my fridge again is why. Who? Uh, probably kids. Looking for fizzy treats. The ice bit has defrosted a bit again. Uh, yeah, of course he is. Of course he's working the pub. Where else would he be? Actually, he'll be close down. He's probably on his way to this He is already right on his way to Amy's. He'll probably be there by now. Well, there you go. Because I know these things. She knows these things, and I do not. And you do not. For I work in a different bar, talking to different people. In a different bar with different humans. People. Quite. Okay. Error up. Pick that up, Jay, I can't. What? The headphones. Well, that I mean they're completely wrapped around the pissing chair. You mean? Oh, for God's sake. Not Was this Foy? Did Foy do this? No, it's Kev. No, it's Kev. So. Oh, God. So swollen. Hello? Just I'm not going to give up. Doing it again, and the problem will be solved. Lad. Today's the sickest I've felt. She good? No. Good afternoon. Not at all. How can I help you, She's darling? a spooky bitch. Appearing uh, just like that. There's like a room reserved for me. Is it? Yeah. You know the, the like lottery? Like a fat Goldilocks. I really want to stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? How indeed? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Uh, not Americans, Canadians. They've uh, got a family that come to the bar. What was the name again? Dave Darkenter. Dave is not David. Dave is not David. Mm -hmm. Is that it? No Hans Tannhauser. Trev's on route. Hans Tannhauser. I've got a bunch of people Ten watching. Houses. They're just staying real quiet. Houser. I see. Eleven Hauser. Oh, oh, Doctor Hans Tannhauser. Like oh yes, here uh, we three, have it. Actually. Oh three my more. God. You're so popular. Fucking you're going popping off over here. Seeking some clues. Well, you know, eventually. We're going to be rich. Well, I'm working Let's on a buy text. We'll make them YouTube's monies. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? We used to do better than that before they changed all the fucking rules. Oh, my tongue hurts. I'm a physicist. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. Hey, I got Canadian friends. How dare you? Just in time for the big anniversary celebration. I got Canadian friends. You got Canadian friends as well. No, no, someone that moves to Canada doesn't count. Her girlfriend's Canadian. She doesn't like you. But apart from that, 
Well, I'd that doesn't matter because about in terms of that's she's Canadian. Not, that's not a friend. Yeah, your key, it's just someone you're aware of. I don't Canada. care if people don't like me. I'm... If you don't mind, really? Okay, I do care if people don't like Let's me. Put it I've got revamp, but and I have potentially others I've forgotten about. It's already over. Tanya. I get the impression. Anyway, David says hello. Over for some time. Hello. I really feel like I'm gonna be sick, right? Well, go away. Why are you being sick all over this shit? Ugh. I'm not gonna puke on your dick. What's your problem? That you'll puke all over all my expensive equipment. I can wash my dick. I can't wash this. Well, don't what? impregnate me, and it won't fucking happen. What? What? Yeah, tissue your bad. Please, you've got to help me. Feeling quite fine and dandy and not super swollen if it wasn't for you. Yeah, so was... Anyway, this is where everything goes a bit weird. Did that guy just all going a bit back to normal? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. Go for it. Don't bother looking at anything. It's pointless. Oh, no. Where did he go? This way. Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Good, I'm glad that brought you some uh, joy. What? I don't know the specific part, but apparently you just spat everywhere. Hey there. At taking a little night spot. Something that we just spoke about, no Someone doubt. Someone was what in my room. About, I no doubt. That's the point, Sam. You I don't know the specifics. You have secret admirer. No, it was something I said as well funnier than you. Yeah, props. Well, Death I bad. haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would okay, probably follow place. these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got to point. enter the cold chamber. Please yes, please. That shall be allowed entrance! Alright. My arm doesn't go that far. I'm not Mr. The fucking Tickle. Is growing Mr. Armstrong. Do you remember all the person who stole my notes Ooh. into a kind of dead-end street? And now, he's vanished. Picture me. Oh, the gag on the dick the is uh, And I didn't say gag. Brain. Well, I mean. I said puke. I wonder who I said be sick. I did say be sick. Visits. Uh, gagging and being sick are two very different things, my friend. Bitch don't gag. Bitch definitely pukes when pregnant. Uh, I guess I speak to this bitch. You I remember like I triggered this bit. It is said that they pray oh, to the damn, I said I wasn't going to click. Won't click. I know it's a long shot. But you just clicked. Maybe it's a visitor. Mistake. How many mistakes have you made, Jay? One. Don't click, Jay. Well, I need to click now. But you just said you weren't going to click. Not to skip dialogue. But why did you click? Oh, Shut up, click. woman. Nonsense. I was just trying to mess with you. You just got back on your word. What was your name again? Tenhalver? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. No, she was just saying that I she was. She felt like she was going to be sick, and I was like, be "Don't be sick on in any of this. Get out." It's like, "Well, I'm not going to be sick on your dick." So there you go. Gretchen, well met. I feel really pleased. Now that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. Shall we to Lacey? It looks um, like he escaped um, with one of the old gondolas. I bet tea. he's hiding somewhere in the mountains. Lacey. Which, Lacey. which Lacey. incidentally no. is also where I was How heading. do you want your eggs cooked? Come on, you're nah. a scientist. No, so how do you you're want coming your eggs with me now to help me find the back garden. Nah. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. How do you want your eggs? One with an interest in... Not like yours. You're scratching my eggs, I scratch yours. So what do you say? That's you making that joke a thousand times. This is my nine-year-old daughter telling me she doesn't want her eggs the same as mine. Well, you should be careful about what you say, but you just don't do that, do you? That's meant my daughter's funny as fuck. That's brilliant. Genius, I in fact. I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. 
doing the work that was warm and all that. We have to do it our way up the mountain. Really? Yeah. If you just walked away and left that one shot on me to solve Yep. Dean was like, I'm leaving. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? I was like, yeah, but sometimes these things happen. Don't worry, you need to be more careful, Mom. Wow. Yeah, excuse me. I'm Eleven sorry. year old. I'm. I was like, I'm. I. I. am I'm, I'm sorry. And he was like, you, you know these things happen if you're I not careful. And you said no more kids. I was like, well, no more. Like this is like how do I mean that? Because I was. I was Maybe it was the burglar who did this. I'm. I'm sorry. The plan. I'm giving a bad I hold the position and plan on this. <laughs> Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master. Like, oi, gobshite. Also, Behave. Also, to override the broken mains. Think you can remember it's that? All right, Lace is on board I'll try to remember. Like she's Let's go. Been playing mommy's and babies with James, fun. and James is just like Lace depresses the doll that starts crying, and James just goes, "You deal with it." He's passed to the baby. You deal with it. <laughs> well, she did. Oh, goodbye, paper. Lacey just looked at me and was like, "Mommy, this isn't worth it. He doesn't want to play." Yeah, but Dad said that apparently uh, when you got <laughs> the idea, he was like, "I'll just live with Granddad." <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> he didn't know. I said, what, what, what do you think? I don't think there's anything for me. Wait, there is that. What do you think about mommy and daddy having a baby? He was like, no. I said, but it'd be a little brother or sister to live at home with you all the time. He was like, but I don't like babies. I went, why not? He went, because they suck their thumb. I said, but you suck a dummy. Well, I could share their dummies, couldn't I? I was like, you could, yeah. Well, you could give them your dummies. Nah, I don't think I like that. I said, well, what would you do if mommy and daddy had another baby? He went, I'd just go and live in a flat with granddad then. Good morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> morning, like, Mr. Tenhauser. And then your dad went, what? And I told your dad, and he just burst out laughing. He's like, I don't think you can do that, mate. He's like, but I can live with you. <laughs> this is step <laughs> 10. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. The people are talking. Yeah, I know. I read it. Who is it? Still Davis. Oh, what's he saying? Thought you said gag on the dick until you puked, which made it sexual and completely out of nowhere, which amused him. Well, I mean, that is something that I would do. So what happened? The only interest Maybe that scoundrel had in the end, that all. good for nothing, took a half too much of his bolts and shorts and dropped it off. Do you know that song on YouTube with the little duck that goes? Being the only no, because I don't watch that shit. Goes, the season goes, season? Bana, bana. We haven't had one in ages. Running the stairs. Hey. Nope. Got any milk? Your daughter really likes bah, watching TV. Bah, bah. Not fun. You bah, see, bah, the kid bah. is always in front of the It's box. a little like duck song. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this duck goes up to the lemonade stand and, and asks for words. everything but lemonade. Nonsense, don't but you think? But the little duck walks anything up to the stand and goes, I can do Hey, for you? got any? These nuts. Truda, would you pour me one of your pills near well, the please? Well, I nearly died. Just and James like, professor. Oh. And then it carries on. You're a coaster. I'm dead to the man running the stand. There hey, you go. Cheers. Got these nuts. James just started rolling around the floor. Yeah, going, because you laughed at it, so that's why he is no, is amusing. I was like, I was in shock. And he was literally rolling around the floor going, these nuts. Must have these. Off the table. No, James. Ducks don't eat nuts. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take this with me. If any, but I love cheese. Every now and then through the song, it was like, ha! Clicking again. You're clicking again. Stop clicking. Is that a maggot? It's a Stop clicking. Well, what are you clicking for? That's the I'll save you, my little friend. Stop clicking. I save you. Better try this now. I think he's got really skinny. He's got crusty legs, hasn't he? Proper, like, freakishly skinny legs. Uh, Look at his ankles. Yep, yeah, that's something I need. Look at those ankles. It's a fucking computer game, love. They're, they're definitely ankles you would rub one out to now. Look at that. Ooh, bony. Oh. Down he goes. <laughs> a donk. It's your favourite, love. It's a Just gonna, it is my favourite. I love getting it. bummed while looking under the bed. Now he picked out a massage rod. I, I'm, I'm a massage rod. Oh, sorry, I thought he was about to get bummed. No. That is definitely one of my favourites, though. Yes. Pity you didn't know that before you did this to me, huh? Is that video? Dr. Video? 
Yeah. That Apollo 11 official trailer. Who is that? Trevor. Trevor. Is Trevor playing? Well, I'm sure when he arrives, he'll be. Is she great in her finger? Or is she playing scratch and sniff? She's cleaning her glass. Actually, wait. Ah, oh, bollocks. Well, I can take care of this now. Look, check this out. Here's your face. My face? Well, you said it was you. Yeah. Let me give her the uh, massage. Oh. Oh, thanks. For me? I found it under the bed. And now you want to, um, let's say, you can this device in exchange for a fishing rod? Yes. yes, that sounds like a good deal. That Just face be sure to bring it back, will you? Um, How has she commented on my fucking Facebook if I've deleted that? There is something else. Hey, please don't hey. stand there. She's almost in a trance. Hey. She's almost in a How do I fucking deal with this? But with a TV. Please don't stand there. Excuse me. Didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh, Got to bed. Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can Got take to journeys bed. to other worlds. Now, it when eats. I think of it, I have no. never seen with you before. No. Are you from another world as well? What did you say that made me howl? In both word fuck. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey, Get Hans. it, fuck. I'm Get it, fuck. No, it wasn't because no, I missed that word. 70,000 light years from... Shut fuck up. Shut fuck up. Shut fuck up. <laughs> Shut fuck up. <laughs> Fucking Yorkshire motherfuckers. Influencing my accent. Shut within, fuck up. Within a matter of moments. <laughs> Been there like two hours. Shut fuck up. <laughs> it, it was fucking... Um, it was Faye. She hasn't got yeah, a much Faye, stronger accent. It was, yeah, it was Faye that did it. It, it. A matter of moments around a random accent that I'm not accustomed to and I will start adopting that shit. That's why my accent is so all over the fucking place. So, you know the place? You bet I do. Joe, if we have an argument, I'll swear to God, I'm just going to show it you. Shut the fuck up. No, you won't, because you're genuinely angry. And what do you do for yeah, that? Shut the fuck up! Well, that'll be the end of it, will it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm hormonal. You're in for a bad oh, time. Okay. I know, Sam. I've been having a bad time for two weeks. Anyways, I'm going to be a so much more pregnant than that, so. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the demon like Roland into thin air with her space beams. I will shit so my pants. Do you Valenarians have any special powers? Well, can you, you make things disappear? You pants. Uh, I mean, it makes no difference, does it? There's still a child coming. I don't see me coming, do you? Well, that's not my fucking problem. Yes, then. yes, my friend, it is. Do you remember the last time I had an orgasm? It's been about a week. Not yes, it is your problem. I can make incredible you amounts of your candy wife. <laughs> I can do that too. Oh, Soz, this is. Oh, I'm so we hot. Right oh, mental me really hurts. Uh, Yo. Good night then. Now, Says a man who's stuck it in me while I've been asleep for more than well. I also know where. But yeah. I must mm -hmm. on Earth. Yeah. Someone who's finished on my ass whilst I've been comatose. And then cleaned me up. Hilarious. Me having a tummy ache stopped you, did it? You Look, liar. I'm a much gr more grown up person now. No, you're not. You I'm obviously just, just didn't want it as much. You want, you want me to rape you up later? Well, no, that's different. I won't be awake. And I'm hormonal because I, I might hurt you. <laughs> there might be pain involved if you wake me. But we went, both to, went to bed at the same time. Oh, that's different. It was, and I was a very for like sweaty two night. hours. It was a very, very sweaty night. Well, after all, I'm not originally from Earth. 
I'm a Berlin angel. What? Remember? Right. The line. But then, how can you prove you're on. not an Earthling? I'll think of something. Yep. We all know I don't got the line. Look, this is the got star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home the planet. The fuck's that? Your face. Well, it's not, is Just it? Just met human no, child Lenny, the keeper of a cosmic sea. Shut fuck up. Oh, so this is a star log for you? Got to Can bed. My pleasure. Mm, this is Lin, mm. planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loot tank in room three. Enough. Room three? That happens to be my room. Room three used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. Let and where is your uncle now? now? My mom says he is now living on planet No Good. Shut fuck up. Shut the fuck no. right up. Shut fuck re right up. Shut fuck re right up. Re right, shut fuck up. No, oh, good night. Nighty night. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one to pregnant me. Goodbye, my lover. See you back. Yeah. Huh. There really is a hidden stash below. Madness. I'm assuming that Davis must be dead junk. after that last uh, selection of exchanges. I'll only take the schnapps. Right. I wonder if I can do in the next two hours what I did in seven earlier. Double bay mats. Because the table's wobbly and he doesn't want to think about that shit. What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Because they have fixed it. Oh, thank you so very much. Very welcome. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. This cursed wobblery, everybody. That's what he said. Ah, oh, he's been struck by a lightning. It's something he'd say if I clicked on it, which I'm not going to. And I've not got the tools with which to deal with that fuckery just yet. Gross. Get out of there. Come on, crack on. Right. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Maggot from the buffet and a fishing rod equals fishing. Why the fuck are you there? That's not where you were the last time I played this. Unless I just didn't notice. I noticed him up on uh, well then, up on tree, catch. lad. There. I do truly adore the point and click genre. There are some games that are obviously better than others. My favourite, of course, Sam the Sorcerer 2, The Lion, The Wizard and The Wardrobe. Which I had back in the day. It was my very, very first PC game. I wish I still had the big box it came in. Long since been. Same with Simon 1, got that after the first, uh, after I had the second one. What the? Big box, uh, again, long since gone. Can. But I did have an eBay success and get a big box of Simon 1 at a pretty cheap price. Because they're going at £20 plus, which is daft, but I think I paid like a tenner. So totes worth it. Really? We can do this now? I don't think it's in the mood for that right now. Okay, well, let's... This cat again. Yeah, he thinks it's a cat. I think I need to trigger something first. So let's go back into town. <laughs> let's fucking gun it. Go on, lad. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling any better now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? 
My life lost most of its joy since Klaas disappeared. See this? Who is Klaas? I think that must be a lost cat an poster. An Except he's clearly a fox. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Maybe he just went for a stroll. I don't know. Klaus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. Yes. Please excuse me. Just worry not about the other information just now. Lad, get on it. There we go. Oh, pick up a pace, will you, you tit? That's some sturdy, full grown reef. Now, you never actually see him combining shit in this, but now I can, apparently some form of combination of reed, cheese, skewer, and leftover liquor results in Time line cat not. coming down. I don't think it would survive that drop. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry, forgot about doing this first. The towel I picked up from my room. Soft you know, it's the bad. Germans and their towels. Job's a good one. Well, that's what it was. It was a dart. I didn't pay attention the first time. That is fucking mental. Right, we'll pick up the cat. Oh, no, he's gone. Hmm. like this, don't you? First ridiculous bit of puzzling, here it is. A box I picked up from up by the uh, cable car. Still here meeting. Anyway, while well, I'm here. Now it's a perfectly fine. Metal restorer. take a while. Strap in, motherfuckers. big old split electrical cable here if you touch that normally you get an electric shock but apparently in a full metal suit of armor fine voila there's a current again i'll just leave it like that Let's gun it because if I do it regularly, clicky will not go fast. Okay. Nowhere to run 
from here, Kitty? Oh, I think he passed out. Yeah, he's fine. Now I've got you. Get on with it, lad. Come on. <clears throat> Have a fox. Sorry, cat. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. Good right. morning. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. I guess we've got to do the uh, other chatting first. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan von Trüber Bruxels. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. No, don't do that. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashions. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Tragic. You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. Yes, I've I have given you that. everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. Key lad. Remembering something else. Progression is this way first. Run to the stairs and go up them. Just a hanger. Let's go all the way around this fuckery. I'll shortcut it and just click there now. No. Move it. Crack on, lad. Take a few steps back to open the door. That way. <sighs> Fucking in your own time, bollocks to it. Okay, so we fixed the cables. And we put the key in. Good job. The cable car is good. Well, now that the cable car down is the straight. We need something to replace the missing gondolas. Uh, can you guess what they are? That's right, Jennifer. I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Trigger cutscene, there it goes. Man, yeah, you'd think that'd be nuts. fatal, wouldn't we'll you? We'll meet on top in case you manage to find a way. See ya. Fine. Oh, 
library. Hello! I left the story bit behind. I've run out of places to be. Ah, that's the end of that. Next circumference, 39 centimeters. Oh, give me the mouse as quickly as possible. 66 steady. Generally neglected, yet overall stable condition. Vigilance decrement, patient somnolent. Reduced effect display, ah. skin pigmentation mm. livid. Oh. Oh. Nutritional basic needs barely met. Huh? Muscular system recessive, huh? possible myopathy. What? Hyper reflexia, mood agitated. I sat through this Patient's bollocks for so long expecting it to just stop. Where uh, am nope. I? Patient has regained consciousness and appears responsive. Excuse me, please. Did you tell me where I am? Patient's orientation to person, space, time, and dimension remains unclear. Uh, I have to ask you a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Ouch. Who are you? My name is Hans. What are you doing here? The original idea was to go on vacation. Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? I'm not from here. I come from far away. Have you ever had a déjà vu? Stop it. I don't think any of this shit matters. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? You are going to have an out-of-body experience in a moment, pal. Interesting. Please remain prepared for further examinations. Are you even listening to me? I'm afraid we can't let you leave until we have verified your right to stay. It's for your own safety. Just knock the door loud These and clearly knots. when you feel able to undergo a few more experiments. I'll be there to pick you up. The patient's status remains unclear. <laughs> plod, plod, plod. Uh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. <laughs> Doctor Remlap, please behave. Okay, game on. They took away all my cool gadgets and locked or me not. up in this small room. I tried protesting, but to no avail. What have I gotten myself into? It definitely doesn't feel like a relaxing summer vacation so far. Fairly certain there are only two things to do uh, at this current stage. That's one of them. Oh wait, no. Actually, there's a uh, little bit. Because now I do this. Why, of course. But where? Well, over there, ideally. Why, of course. Oh, for God's sake. I can't reach it. Why, of course. But where? Mm. Ah, my bad. I could use this to climb to the hatch. Slip that in my pocket real quick. No, nope, actually going to animate. Clearly wasn't paying attention. Right, I do need to go over here. This is the thing I forgot. <clears throat> no water pressure. Or clogged. No water pressure. Or clogged. A coin. It fell right out of the shower head. And right into my inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. Yes. Alright, off you go. I need a very special tool to unscrew those See, very small now screws. I'm assuming that had I not put the skeleton in there, that dude would have looked in then and realised that I was not in the bed. Again, something that I just did the first time, so... It's all assumption on the potential fuck-ups. Why 
don't you climb back down again, you fucking moron. And now the window's not in use, so now you have to click the ladder to go through the window. Right, so first things first, this way. I think there's a lot in here, actually. I'll take it with me. I think it's literally it might come in handy should I need an improvised hat. I have a quick check of this just in case. Everything else is irrelevant. So many books. Yeah, it doesn't Maybe matter. Maybe I should consider staying in this place. All right. Next. Get a move on, lad. Get a move on. I can gun it over here, but for some reason, multi clicks don't work with getting up the stairs. Whatever, motherfucker. Okay, right. We have to look at this first. Oh wait, no, fuck. There's something written on the wall. First of all, let's do this. Oh no. I'm not really going to have to replace the fuses, right? My dad always used to say, son, whatever you do, stay away from fuse boxes. Well, this is a lonely ass place to be right now. Davis is gone. I notice I've just lost another person. There are two people out there that don't want to say shit to me. You suck. Well, thanks, I guess. Shout out to the Bioshock uh, font there. I'll try with this code someone left on the wall. Which I always forget the name of. It starts with an A. It's not Arcadia, but it's close, I think. And if it's not that, it's certainly very similar. These seem right. to be the medical records. Right, so from this, we're supposed to get that I need to be angry, which you'd assume would be, you know, not that. It's an incapable of evil thought, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, right, okay, this name, this, this actually is totally relevant to later. I'm going to read this, which I didn't the first time, I just fucking skipped away. Must be lost. I think I've lost my group. No more lame excuses. We are going to perform the test now. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Come on, let's get it over with. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associates. This is the important test. A sort of warm up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images, and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image? War. War. That is um, unexpected. Second image? 
Cruelty. Cruelty. Are you sure? Image number three. Unnecessary, Unnecessary violence. violence. Extraordinary. And we're done. Counting in the benefit of the doubt, I think you've just met the criteria to pass. Next up is self-assessment, ranging from one, very inaccurate, to four, very accurate. How would you rate the following statements? I often feel controlled by others. Doesn't Three. matter. I talk to myself frequently. Doesn't matter. I don't care much about art. Doesn't Obviously matter. Three. I believe that future events are predetermined. Doesn't Probably matter. three. Almost, but not yet there. Three out of four it is. Thank you. Next, we are going to show you a few colors. Please describe them as elaborately as possible. Let's Only begin. Mate. So, what do you see? Please describe this color as precisely as possible. Doesn't Aggressive. matter. That color again. It's everywhere. Have you noticed? God, it makes my eyes hurt. How do you feel about this color? Anything particular that meets the eye? Christ, lad. Doesn't matter. Kitch. Like happy little accidents. Calm, humble, and inspiring. Thank you. And what ah, are well done, Trev. You arrived. This color. 30 minutes, near to an hour, same difference. Threatening. Like, what if all the mathematics were wrong? Good news, you're just in time for what a BRB as soon as I finish this sick. Hypothetical constants that can't have a singularity at the end. You missed definition. all the wife hilarity. Axioms only put parameters on space time, they don't constitute them. The cosmos is always as much concept as it is a physical object. What if our brain is denying us to ever find out which is which? Are we done soon? You know, this isn't really optional. If you had to put a name on this shape, what would it be? I'd say it doesn't matter. Truda. Like the mother I never knew. And this one? Doesn't a matter. Cross. A cross within a cross that's crossing another cross. Thank you. That's that. Now a few questions where you have to make a decision. Would you rather have landed in Roswell or crashed on the moon? It doesn't matter. Either is fine. Technically, both would make me an astronaut. Or would you rather be in the Cold War wearing short pants or in a very hot war wearing an anorak? Can you guess that's right, Jennifer? It doesn't matter. I'm a pacifist. I'd go naked. Would you rather have a hematome or a sickle cell anemia? Doesn't matter. I don't care. And he doesn't care. At least I'd have my tools. And you're a tool for asking this. Would you rather want to have Heinz Erhardt's expertise in economics or Ludwig Erhardt's sense of humor? Doesn't matter. My name is Tannhauser, and I'm your host for tonight. Would you rather be an eagle with a shell or a turtle with wings? Oh, yeah, that's definitely how that works, Trev. Doesn't Is matter. Calculating the aerodynamics of a turtle shell in relation to a given wingspan. Thank you. Think of your childhood. What are the first three items coming to your mind? Fucking hell. Doesn't Kiss matter. My bum. Are you sometimes afraid of the day your true identity becomes uncovered? Doesn't matter. Oh, yes. Aren't you? Do you sometimes feel? that everything's just about to happen while all of it has already been decided yeah of course we do Trev uh, doesn't matter yes congratulations my dear Mr. Tenhauser you have passed the associative test with excellent results I have no more doubts that you are a real human so a real hu those first that's ones what this that's what it's all about, about. bottom answer every time for the inconvenience but one can never be sure these days. It's our civic duty to track down and detain these aliens. They are a Who among fucking us. knows? Mark my words, Mr. Tenhauser. So we won a lottery and it gave You're us the opportunity to, to come on holiday Please to this lovely place, Trubber Brook. 
which I've been pronouncing Trooperbrook, but apparently everyone I'm a human being. in the game is not pronouncing it that way, so there you go. And now, I'm going home. And now we're just doing a point and click game, really. You must be out of your minds. Oh yeah, someone appeared in the night and stole my notes. I'm a quantum physicist, by the way. And he left glowy, gooey footprints, so we folded them up to a cable car that was broken. And then we fixed the cable car, and we used coat hangers to ride up, and then I fell off, and then when I fell off, I ended up in this fuckery. But it's fine, because we're human, so we can leave. That's basically the gist. And I think if I go through here, I'm going to trigger a cutscene. So I'm going to prepare myself and say, back in a minute, I'm not... Oh, wait, no, I, oh, you know what, BRB, doesn't matter. Glad to hear you're on a cable car uh, on Monday. That's uh, some truly I'll leave exciting the key under the door, Matt. They're terrifying, though, aren't they? Let's be honest. Your mum. The ground cable car. I've arrived at some sort of mining facility. It looks abandoned. Like by our tracks, a I've tram. Up with Gretchen. Some might say a tram. Let's have at it. Anyway, the point <clears throat> you'll notice now. Well, you may have noticed earlier, is uh, I played this for nearly seven and a half hours earlier, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Only kind of. Yeah, that's... That looks like a, a, a weird tram. Debris. P 
People keep losing helmets all the time. Anyway, I've very much been enjoying this game, which is why I thought, fuck it, I'm going to stream this shit too. Oh, forgot something over here. Incliners, eh? Still needs a little extra something to get it going. I uh, know, I already picked that up. You're just not doing it for some reason. No, no. Of course you do. Hans, that would be a really bad idea. Do I need this? I think I need this. Yes, I do. My mistake. Oh, Trevor, you're going to miss the fun bit. Unless you're bad for not preparing sufficiently. Beverly, the time has come. I'm stranded, trapped deep underground. Every time he speaks about that thing, it says Beverly. Cave. I just think Beverly Crusher, because next it's generation. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly Crusher. And now this. Hello. Hello. Control. Boots. 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 Away with it. In that particular area, my mouse did not agree with it at all. Lucky look. Darn. My attempts at resourceful engineering have not withstood the test of time. I I need I need that back. I have to look at this first. This valve is missing its rotary handle. Yes, can I have that now? No, apparently not. Oh, I can. Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. All right, fine. Fuck it. Have it now. Oh, good, I can. Oh, because I've got the pickaxes. My bad. Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There you go. He's a skipping Water dialogue march. again. We'll just wait a moment. Cable car is 
so weird. It's not overhead, it's below. Absolutely mental. Never seen anything like that. Come in, pumpkin. Do I have to do this first? Oh, no, wait, stop, 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 stop. I think I need to do this. I think it must be a plug. Jesus, Trev said he was going for a piss. He's clearly going for a shit. Yeah, that is the trick. Banging, lad. Handy that the water level just stops there, innit? Instead of continuing to rise and drowning us. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. you'd never come look at you covered in dirt did you stumble all the way here through the old mines uh i don't have to answer that anyway you're not going to believe what just happened to me yeah i guess you're right you gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time correct right they sure have big doors around here it looks you're like they really door. wanted to make sure there was no trespassing Try and make this as painless as possible, so I need to try and remember which all of these motherfuckers come in, and I can't for the life of me. I think it's this. We need to get that door. Please light up these symbols. Wow, these look like Neolithic cave paintings. Yes, they do. Who would have guessed? You've got to find got all these different marks and then light them in the right order some sort from when they would have first appeared in this cave to this is the most recent. Fallen asleep. Look, this seems to have activated one of the lights on the vault door. You see that afterglow? Next one I'm after is hieroglyphics, which I think is these. What's that over there? Nope. Only it's a block of bats. It doesn't matter. Or is it a swarm? A herd? I'm trying to keep an a eye gaggle. on her shit. Not that one. Not that one. What is this one? What do you make of this? Weird. <laughs> Fucking yes, Ten house are these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. And this pictogram on the left could mean right, door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Something else. This is the one Doesn't that's going to fuck me. your curiosity as well. Right. That's that's not really interesting. Rude. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort so of graffiti up in the top section. corner there. That's last. It's the most recent, of course. We'll try that. Any ideas? What's that over there? Yeah, I think, I think we're on this. These runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to... <clears throat> Be gone, stranger. For all you may find here is certain death. Did you notice that other little light turning on? <sighs> right, the next one's this. Could you point the Have light in this direction? I've got these two the right way around. Interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Yeah, that's more recent than runes. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to path of no return. Okay. That's the first one I found when I actually there, played this game. One. Originally, earlier this afternoon. And then finally, graffiti. What's that over there? Interesting. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Is this a graffito? A graffito? Down here. 
In any case, it's hard to decipher. Never heard that word you in my the life. On there as well? No idea. You cut the door open already? Now there are five lights. What is it? Right, mean? now if I've got this in the right order, now I should be able to activate this little switchy switch. You had a shit, didn't you, Trav? Don't fucking lie to me. You've gone ages. Yeah, it's pretty fucking warm here for the last few days and all. Really? Really? Did I actually get that wrong? I don't fucking believe you for a fucking single moment, lad. Could you light up the cave paintings? Maybe I'm, I'm meant to dis discover them first. There's no way that I didn't get that the right order. Right, cave paintings, early man. I don't get it. Closest the light age. Open sesame! Is that right? Then after that comes runes. Could you show me that ruin thing again? Ruin. Into more recent script, which is Latin. Show me the Latin inscriptions again. Uh, I have no idea. Warm is the answer. And then finally, uh, graffiti. Graffiti, not graffito, graffito again? because what the fuck is graffito? Again, five lights. Now, please. And again. Does Latin Latin must come before uh, the fucking? Because you light up the cave painting for some for reason. Me again? I remember it was this afternoon and now it's the next morning in the early hours where where there you are please point the light to the hieroglyphs again please show me the latin inscriptions again oh my chair's just undone my laces for me thank you chair i'm gonna get caught in that in a bit Show me that ruin. Thing. They are letters. Or maybe he was driving, and maybe this time he's finally crashed. You think of that, Trev? You think of that? Can we take a look at the graffito again? Again, five lights. Yes. Can we open the fucking door? This looks promising. Yes, we can. This cave right. has obviously been visited so by runes for come millennia. after Isn't Latin. Isn't it strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? And whoever I'm sure that makes sense somewhere. I mean, sure that you know, foreign languages and shit, different parts of the right entire fucking world, so. Maybe long after its sure. ceased to exist. You know, for a minute there, I just read Let's Hope and thought, you fucking dark it bastard. Really coat on the wall. My bad. In case of an emergency? Remarkable. Yes! In our bits. We are not far away from it. <laughs> As far as I got in like seven and a half hours at this point. Man, that's crazy. Let me find the light switch first. Let's take a look around. This is exciting. Yes. Did you see that pretty large particle accelerator? Wow. Unsure how this is a thing, but it is. I've got back order to the universe. Crash Team Racer uh, for the PS4. And it's still in the cellophane. I've not played it at all. I bought it in Rotherham when I was there at the 
start of the week. Got there Sunday, came home Tuesday. And during that time, I bought that and uh, I had no real desire to play it. And my week off is basically over as of tomorrow. So I guess that'll just sit in the pile. <clears throat> you know, until I've got Krusty Kev and Foy around. And then it will be mega four player stream. All this modern hardware must have cost a fortune. Yeah, it must have. Oh, I can't do any of that shit yet. I think I need to go this way. Fucking crack on, lad! Hang on. Let me read overflow. Right, is that true? Hello? Anybody there? Of course. Another locked door. It has indeed triggered. A running on. Memory overflow. Sixty-four kilobytes of main memory on isolinear chips? Good lord. Gretchen, this memory is the future. Overflow. I won't say four K. Ten eighty. PS4 Pro in hand, so yeah, I guess they might try and black some 4K. It's certainly prettier than it was on PS1. One of Krusty's favourite games, might I add, of the PS1 era. Intruder alert. Please identify yourself. Hey, look, he's not dead. Hey, Paul. Here's a bunch of people that know my news. Which begs the question, Trev. Where's your sister tonight? I can't see. Who's talking there? My name is Barbarossa 2000. I am the guardian of the station. Please identify yourself. I am Hans, and I defragmented your memory. I do not recognize you, Hans. I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. This isn't going anywhere, Tenhauser. We need brute force. You need a deep dick in and don't deny it. Can't you just open this door for yeah, me? Yeah, read back for a very one-sided conversation. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. My name is Tannhauser. Hans Tannhauser. I do not recognize you, Hans. I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. What kind of station is this? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I may only yes, give this information so. to authorized individuals. How do I become authorized? Not possible. I cannot authorize you since I do not know you. Who constructed you? I was given a field built by a Dr. Von Strack and Dr. Rumler. I am property of the Millennium Cooperative. Out with that shiny new boyfriend of hers, then, no doubt. How long have you been here? 16 years, 304 days. And nine hours. Aren't you feeling lonely? All on your own down here? I am patient by nature. My developers assured me the station was only temporarily shut down. To be honest, I don't think they'll ever come back. Dr. Rumler promised me we would start working again very soon. Dr. Rumler is my friend. Why would he lie to me? Maybe they weren't confident to tell you the truth. Your point is illogical. If what you said was true, how could I rely on statements made by humans? 
That is the point. You simply can't. Overheating in segment B23. Imminent. Come on. <laughs> Smoking. <sighs> Sleeping. Robot TV radio lad. Any chance you might consider letting me through? I am very sorry. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. <sighs> you may wait here if you wish. I would most certainly enjoy your company, yet I may only allow passage to subjects of acquaintance. But you do know me. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Nice. Imagine the possibility of Dr. Romler never coming back, and I'd be your only friend. Are you my friend, Hans? Yes. Yes, I am. Your best and only true friend. You may I'm right, though, right? You two are adorable. I bet if I sent her a message right now, she'd be Now lying. that you know me, would you please let me through? Hours pass. Oh, sorry. But if I let you pass... She'll oh, never know about Baby James. Baby Will James? Well, I'm James. Baby Manning. Scout's honor. This way. You've got to be here to get that knowledge. Access granted. Oh, my phone has gone fucking mental. Yep, yeah, broke that. It's the Saturn portal. Yeah, everything's gonna crash in a minute. <clears throat> you have no idea. Oh, it's 2 a.m. It's doing the backup. What do you mean? Beef. Quantum physicist, ridiculous. Is, is that a gun? Get off of that boy. I can see no reason for violence here. Hey, hey, hey. Is that really necessary? You too, Bambi. Move yeah, she's a bitch. Are you serious? <clears throat> I have mentioned it earlier, but you know, uh, spoilers. You're not gonna stand in my way. You've had your chance, Tenhauser, but you had to follow me around like a puppy dog. Now that's what you get. But it was you that had the idea to come here. Shut your pie hole. Please, you don't understand. I need help. What kind of a dog oh, are you? A bunch Hello, of headless maggots, that's what you are. Standing in front of the Saturn portal with You're a aware head. it's two in the morning, right? The fuck are you doing here? Uh, as for timing, my stream just ran over one hour and twenty nine minutes precisely. You're here, chums. You may as well bid farewell to this stupid flunker while you're at it. Been getting on my nerves from the beginning. No. <laughs> Kill my robot radio TV friend. What a bitch. Listen to that maniacal laugh as well. What a cunt. Bye. Jesus Christ, Paul! You're actually trying to finish a game. We're nearly an hour and a half. You missed an hour, I guess. But again, you can always watch back and, and see how we got to this stage. And all of my wife's uh, throwing up on dick jokes. Hey, that was you last night in my room. Calm down, calm down. You must have a lot of questions. You bet I do. But first, you're missing a K there, mate. The word is no, so it's K. I assume you have a plan on how to open the door. You seem to know what you're doing. <sighs> Who are you anyway? Many dialogues we have here. My name is Staff, and I hope you'll excuse my late introduction. I'm a traveler, if you need me. Good boy. Well done, Paul. Because otherwise the word is now. Uh, that's not what you meant nice to say, Nice to meet it? you, Mr. Taft. Tannhauser. Let's talk about stealing my notes. Yes, that was me. Believe Paul, me, you've been keeping my secret nicely when you've been at work. To my brand. I want I'm going to have to wait till Thursday to tell the others, surprise. yeah? I know taking your job tell them together, you know? I'm sorry a about unit. It. I would have returned it, I promise. What was it you wanted from my journal? They're really just notes. And a few doodles. 
I needed you to tune into the right quantum frequency. See, I'm just an ordinary traveler. I know next to nothing about quantum mechanics. At least not enough to control this portal. You're talking crazy talk. This is not the best time to go into too much detail. Okay, okay, but what's my role in all of this? I needed your help. You were the last piece of... My the boy. Nice when I saw your article in Science Today, I was 100% sure you were the right guy for me. To help me get home. Oh, Paul! Paul, it's been a very fucking productive day. She called it a... I've got a new boss. What was she talking about? It's a metaphor. Actually, it's just an ordinary quantum portal. You can travel That's the highlight of the day. It's also the first thing that happened, but there's many more things that have been very productive that I've dealt with today. Good lord. So all of this is real? Do you know who built the portal? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I believe something went wrong when I came out of the well, this story does its they shit. Took them and abandoned the station I'll try and, uh, But they certainly didn't construct locate a picture of the boss. Who did then? Who knows? Probably a natural phenomenon, a geological Duh. vortex, a high intensity uranium, a cosmic G spot. It is ancient. There's a large <laughs> loop, like wormholes connecting different dimensions. And where are you from? From the other side? See, and I know that's kind of a lot of information, but. Yeah, that's um, that's what I've decided to call this. This is going to be my battle boss. Please don't get me wrong. I really like it here, but I need to go. If I don't, I will die. Simple as that. As you probably suspected, you winning that lottery is part of my arrangement. You know, because I've got like hundreds of kids now. Nittle, what what you said you missed? What what have I what have I what have I missed? What what did you miss? What what? Please go on. The problem is that you can't control the portal unless you have the right tool. <laughs> at home we have a device called a quantum discriminator. You can buy it at any convenience store, but I certainly don't know how to build one myself. This is why I needed your formula, the calculations, to tune in. There are dangers though. You can disintegrate the whole planet if you aren't careful. Which is what she Yeah man, to my new fucking boss. Enough talk. Let's move. With this cutscene, then I'll do a handy little pause maneuver, go full screen, and show you the boss. <clears throat> because again, hundreds of kids now. I'm very excited for my new boss. This is getting boring. Again, this way! On a string, Mr. Tenhauser. You there? You are nothing but a pawn in my new narrative. Clicky talk, nothing happen. Fade into obscurity. Did we and seriously just we step out of a phone booth? We did. Wait, there is another way? I don't have to answer that. What's it like on the other side? Different. How this is going to take a while. Just this is try. quite the cost. How does it feel? The transition, I mean. Hands, we have no time for that. Also, um. Okay. Okay, maybe later then. Listen. I came to you because I see something in you. you I played, again, different. I've said this, this so many times tonight, but for home. those that are fresh, I played this game for about seven and a half hours, I don't two minutes shy, uh, according to the save file earlier today. Going to and we're pretty Everything much that as far as I got her. now. How? And we're only an hour and 35 minutes in. We need so I guess we're going to a quantum play play at this point. Because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yet here you are. No, you look fizzy jizzy Sorry. boss. How dare you? I need to take a short rest. We could go to my room. That would actually be awesome. If that's cool with you. Follow me. Okay, I went over your plans, and I think I get the idea. It's pretty mind-boggling, but it could work. We need to improvise here. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about that. I found some scrap metal. Oh, mother the model of frame fucker. The well, I guess I'll just tell Steel to choose it then. 
I'm afraid there are a few integral components that need to be swapped in, though. See, fucking hey, wigs. What are we looking for? Uh, First, can't be asked. We need a source of energy, a very strong source. Second, a particle accelerator. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. See, you're moaning because you have to work your, uh, your cool. day off. The whole thing could blow up otherwise. Number four. But I work six days out of seven anyway. You know, so the extra hours. Just the device. Any kind of I need the move on. But okay. oh, motherfucker. How do we begin? The order doesn't really matter. I'll go to the village. Maybe I can find some substitutes for the missing Two parts. Fucking weeks. She better be going on all day. Them over. Just sitting alone. I'm sure I can like I did. together somehow. No wait, that's a lie. Went to Rotherham. Thank you, Hans. I'd already be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, you. It wasn't that bad. You are awesome. I just wanted you to know that I'm eternally grateful to have met you. All Thanks, you want to suck my dick while you fucking cracking all this beautiful shit at me? Don't you say that. Anyway, this is the dude that was in that uh, report that I read in the sanitarium earlier. I'm beginning in case you haven't got there on your own, whoever's been burning his engine. We're in control. We're in control. Give me that jar. jar. I think that's the only thing I can pick up. Might be more over here. I'm not sure. Interface. Oh. Gasoline. Yeah. Can I get anything from here? A couple of. No. Sorry, I'm skipping everything again. But I mean, it's all completely fucking bollocks. Okay, another dough. Okay, the boss. <clears throat> this boys and girls. Jay's new boss. She's a beaut. Big bitch. Seven seater for the fucking children. But fuck me, does she move? Oh my days. She is a rapid motherfucker. Got more grunt than mine. Which is bizarre, because I don't already drive a bus. <laughs> Everybody satisfied with the bus pictures? Don't need to show the bus again? Or should we progress? I'll leave it 30 seconds. <laughs> or at least until I see a reply. Patiently waiting for something to occur. My boss. My battle boss. Alright? I never, ever, ever wanted to drive an MPV, but it's a uh, Ford S Max, which is basically a Mondeo, but with more seats. It's one of those motherfuckers that doesn't have a key, you know, you just have the fob and then you press the button. Future shit. Future shit. The handbrake looks like it's come out of the Enterprise. Love it. So much power in it. And, uh, smooth ride. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I, only, I was only able to take it, like, round the block. But I'm willing to bet the second I put that on the motorway, fuck away is what I will do. And it would be brilliant. No, it is not brand new. It is from... Just... It's five years old. The It was registered the latter part of 2014. So possibly the newest car I've ever had. It's the last model of S Max. But it's a titanium, which means it is the top tier of that generation, which is... Fucking banging. Can't wait. Can't wait to get hold of that battle bus. Now, as you probably know, me, Cully, and Tom, we uh, we get together on Friday night. We take it in turns to cook for each other. Not this Friday. Assuming I've got the battle bus, we're, uh, we're just going to take a night off. We're going to take it for a trip. I'm going to go out probably about an hour's drive away to this quaint little pub that you might know from We'd Be Boating... I want to say seven. The very start of seven, I was hung over to fuck. We went there before we actually picked up the boat. We were also there on, I think it was volume nine, and Foy wanted to watch the football. We 
were watching it on the boat. Anyway, it's a classic boating pub. So hopefully Friday night we're going to get in the battle bus. We're going to go down to the Barbara Gin. We're going to, well, they're going to drink soft drinks. I'm going to have a pint, maybe two. And we're going to eat some scran and then we'll come back. And if we feel like it, then we'll do a bit of a stream. We just want to go out on the battle bus, really. So fingers crossed that the mechanics have done their uh, fiddly wit and done their OOT and then battle bus. No, I have not done donuts in it yet and I never will. It's a battle bus. It's not a play thing. Uh, did I stream yesterday? What day was yesterday? Friday? No, nobody came round yesterday. Uh, Tom was working and Cully was ill. So there was no stream yesterday. So I played... What did I play? Pirates of First Star. I played that on my own. Not for you, just for me. And it was great. Anyway, we should get back to this game. Because now we're in an area that I've not encountered before. Cully Dick. Um, I mean, he deals with a lot of dicks. That's pretty much his line of work. Now, the only thing I was... Bleh, wait, no, there's more. Back in here. Speaky. Truda? So, Professor, did you take a look-see around the area? You could definitely say so. I would like to ask you something. Oh, yes, of course. Does the name Lazarus Taft ring a bell with you? Taft? Oh yes, indeed. Doppelkopf player. If you ask me, he's a sham. Ripped my guests off to the last penny. Shady type. You better not get involved. Yeah, Cully was sick. He had a oh, snotty nose I and he couldn't already... face it. Well. Yeah. Ah, never mind. I would like... Oh yes, what the f... I'll be leaving. Make yourself at home, Mr. The fuck have I missed here? The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Well, that's weird. Right, where I'm up to in the game. Um, I speak to her. Truda. Hello, Professor. And it's about the fishing rod I took earlier in exchange for what is essentially a vibrator. But it's the option is not there. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Huh. Okay. I guess we're going to click on everything. I don't even know where to begin. Don't go. Uh, probably you know quadruplets. Now, the quantum discriminator emits me a and my luck, you know. Projecting a metaphasing projectory matrix. Precisely. Then the projected tachyon with the battle boss and fit me and the wife in the front. Three elders in the middle. The portal synchronizes young boy and baby boy. Quantum coordinates. Presumably going to be a boy. All my kids are boys. Every every single one in the family land, they're all boys. They'll be in the back. This is what's going to be a girl now, because of course it is. I don't even know where to begin. Don't worry, you know it in theory. Now. The quantum discriminator emits a coherent tetrium beam into the portal, projecting a metaphasing projectory matrix. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Precisely. Then the projected tetrium pulses allow us to modulate the frequency in such a fashion that it's probably a sleep that the by portal now. synchronizes with the exact temporal quantum coordinates. A rift in space-time. Exactly. This is sensational. I thought you'd like it. It's the orgone collector. So these are all the bits that I'm missing, I presume, anyway, from what I need to create. What's that gooey stuff? Is that your blood? My body is disintegrating. 
because he's nice. What do you mean? He's this the effect one has to bear when staying in another dimension for too long. Does it hurt? Yes. Well, I've not got one of them, so that'd be nice. But you know, it don't matter. You know, the the general rule of thumb is it don't matter, just so long as the kid is healthy, right? And all is well. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. You don't look so good. Sorry, I said that. No, it's cool, really. I get that a lot. So Ignore what do we do all now? that. First, Fuck we have that to noise. construct the quantum discriminator. Second, save the world. Third, save Lazarus Taft. That's me. Okay. A Can couple of soft that? ceiling step. Yeah. A small collection of hydrinos. Mm-hmm. An ectoplasm interference oscillator. What's out the window? They're having a blast out there. They are. A hyperlogic coupler. Well, I'll click that one. That's a prototype of the Valentine. True a indeed. Gift from a friend. Well, as Crossy once said in the rhyme, yes, yes, true indeed. A cosmic slipstream capacitator. That's the toolbox I borrowed from Truda. Interphasic coil spanner, quantum flux regulator, ODN recoupler, scissors. It's an excerpt of the Tonkland diary. Gasoline powder. Okay, fairly confident we've done everything, but look at the guest book. There's me writing nothing. Okay, I think we're good. Again, probably asleep. I don't want to take this with me. Mm, going. Get on with it. Can we speak about the vibrator now? She's the landlady here. Precisely. She was pretty vibrating then. Truda? Hello, Professor. Ugh. I would like to ask you something. Oh, yes, of course. Does the name Lazarus Taft ring a bell with you? Taft? Oh, Doppelkopf. If you are shady, you better not... Oh. Ah, never mind. I'll be leaving then. Thanks. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Fucking weird, yo. Oh! Oh, no, I know, what's the, I know what the problem is. I didn't pick up the rod again after I'd fucked with it earlier. Let's just skip through all this fuckery. Well, at least that dude's not dead. What a fun little place this is turning out to be right now. That we will ignore all of. <sighs> Trev, I will hurt you. Oh, lad, come on. My fishing rod. It's still here. Which is lucky. I promised Trudy to bring it back. And now you shall. Oh, this is open. I'm not sure I want to get too far into this game. <coughs> now, as soon as I do this, I'm entering realms that I've not played yet and I want to experience it. Forgive me for being selfish, but I kind of want to do it on my own first. So I think we might have to call it early. I planned on calling it in like a little under 40 minutes, but I mean, we, can, we can sit and chat. I wanted to return your fishing rod. Good. Oh, Did mate, I'm not bite? eating today. I'm starving. Kind of. There is a lot going on in this room. I can tell the professor. Oh, I've not even got any Just chips. The other day, I caught a That's uh, fries. Do you chunky fries? Okay. So, let me take a look. 
I'm to get all the pies out. There you are. Here's your whistle. Fucking bees. I did not whistle? have a whistle. Well, yes, your whistle. This is not my whistle. Not your whistle? Of course this is your whistle, your whistle. <laughs> I'm sure I'd recognize this whistle. If it were <coughs> a whistle, I left you something completely different. Right. Mm -hmm. What was it then? My... Uh, massage rod. Your what? I don't have no massage rod in here. As I said, here is your whistle, Mr. Tenhofer. Yeah. Thanks. Keeping that all for herself, the dirty bitch. Okay, so as far as I got was apparently the whistle will summon crows. Spoilers for right now. weight is almost breaking the antenna and that's as far as I got almost breaking so you go in and the TV's fine when you come back out and they're gone but clearly I need to add some more weight to the this the antenna provides TV reception for the guest house and I can't action it so I will we'll have, we'll have a little mooch we'll have a little mooch right I don't want to fuck with anything around here I kind of want to do some shooting, but I'm going to blunt face it because I want to look at everything when I'm playing it in my own game. Really? Is there nothing, nothing here really to speak of? Oh, come on, lad. Paddle boat rental. One hour, one toy charm. Mm hmm. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. Oh, uh, pizza. Pizza over Chinese every day of the week. And chat soon after this. What, leave it like, yeah, just shut the game down and just natter for a bit. Yeah, we can do that. There is nothing to play with here. I'm sure that these boxes will become important at some point. Take something. I'll have a cone of rope. A cone of roasted almonds. Accidental right click. That's my bad. There you are, sir. Oh, lovely! Now I've got. Right, I'm gonna use that as a theory to just skip on. Right earlier, you remember I died down my window. Now I know that previously that wasn't an option to me at this stage of the game. Now I've got these nerds. Maybe I can. Can I? They're having a blast. No. No. All right. Well, <clears throat> I was hoping I could get out the window, put the nuts around it, and summon more crows to the uh, specific area that I required. You want me to jump to Titanic? I mean, no. <laughs> what do you want from me, Trevor? What do you want? Now, in my game, I threw this coin away, and I'm looking forward to seeing what has gone. The meteor crashed down on the other side of the lake. That's interesting. A meteor crashed down on the other side of the lake. Hmm. Chat soon. I have to ask. Have, I, okay, I have a trask for you. Sorry, a task. I was thinking the Titanic. Maybe. That, okay. Well, task then. What? They can be called the football. What is the task? Mr. Tanhauser? Yes, that's me. Step right up. Hello. Yes. How do you know my name? It's a small town. Penelope Hades. My sister and I run the boat rental over at the lake. Okay, cool. So, are there any prizes? Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trübe Lanke. 
That, it can't be hard to spend 20 bucks on Chinese, man. How much for a ticket? One ticket, 50 Fenix. But I'm afraid all tickets have been sold. Bummer. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that was relevant. I'll be leaving then. The mere thought of cotton candy makes me shiver. The real thing is just gross. Sure, whatever. If I keep going, there will be no more prizes left for the rest of the competition. It's a shooting gallery for kids. Keep going? You've not even started. If I keep going, it's a shooting gallery. Lad. Baron. Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all You're mine. fucking... J yeah, but does it work? Does it work? Again, I've told you... I've had the game in the past. No doubt from here. Does it work, though? How is Claus doing? He is resting. My loyal Claus. And anyway, over Chinese food, Indian food. It's not even a fucking question. Are you enjoying the festivities? Yes. Take a look around. All these lights. The beautiful music. Is it Limbiscuit time? This is my Trooperbrook. In bow, all its bow, splendor bow, 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 and glory. Bow, 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 Have you ever heard the name Lazarus Tuft? Tuft? Yes. A real good for nothing. It's not that I don't like strangers, especially if they come as tourists to my beautiful Trooperbrook. But uh, I was suspicious of this. Uh, Mr. Tapped, uh, right from the beginning. If you ask me, you better not mingle with him. Oh, well, I think I already. Well. You're missing out a lot of extras there, aren't you? What, you just getting a fried rice? Are you crazy? I need to be on my way. Until next time, Mr. Tannhauser. Just a moment, pal. I suppose when I'm ordering, I'm ordering like for two as well. That <clears throat> helps. You get those spring rolls. You got to get at least a quarter crispy duck, right? Then a main and your sundry, like your fried rice or your noodles. Come on, fam. It, it, it adds up. It adds up. And yo, if you really want the Chinese, just, you know, order a few. And if you're only spending like five bucks, so order like four and throw them in the freezer. Whack it in the microwave as and when. It makes sense. You know it does. Step right up. Step right up. Want to put your bronze to the test? This feels like a puzzle. Is there a prize to be won? Scars, scars! The winner of the night gets a trophy! Oh, okay. Consider me sold. Gonna get Mark 1, maybe 2. Wow, or... Oh, oh, wow, 3! Right, all right. That was, ooh, not so bad. Just between the all right, two Mario. Of us. You could use a little dose of vitamins, don't you think? Always Irish mind. Mario. A healthy body equals a healthy mind. Scottish Mario. Fucking what the fuck? So many. It's like me. Bouncing through the fucking accents. Okay, so clearly I need to do something to uh, uh, lead and trophy. deal with that. Like a trophy made out of lead. Oh, that sounds perfectly desirable. Oh, look at this fucking one legged bastard. A violin neck for a peg leg. White rice? Just plain box standard rice? Why even go to the fucking Chinese, man? Why? What's the point? 
fucking fried rice. Because otherwise, um, why? You might as well just get the braised chicken and cook the fucking rice at home. What's a sailor man doing out here in the sticks? Well, I don't like water there much. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. Of course you are. But aren't those stereotypical sailor's clothes you were wearing? So and braised chicken doesn't sound particularly Chinese either, so what the fuck is your game here, Paul? So you have a fear of water? I, Thalassophobia. It all started when I was a little boy, back home, on a sweet summer's day. I was swimming in the lake when my uncle Ulf suddenly cannonballed in. I will always remember these two massive cheeks. Oh, God. In. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. That's not a fear of water, friend. That is a fear of ass. <clears throat> Later, I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. If I may ask, why did you become a sailor man if you're so scared of water? I asked this myself many times. Well, my mother insisted that it would be best Oof, for me not to curry in a while. Fears. Mm. So naturally, I became a sailor. Man. New food. This is so confusing. Walk a mile in my shoes. Need to pick up a bit of spare cash. I'm on the way next week and get a curry in. What happened to your leg? Well. That happened on my second job at the piano transportation company. I don't really want to go into details, but thanks to the mercy of a rueful instrument manufacturer, it got me this nice new leg. <sighs> and due to a timely taken disability insurance, instrument. I now may enjoy a quiet I thought his leg looked weird before, but yeah, I can see it's got strings on it. From That's going to be a puzzle. That's a nice story. Or is it a sad story? I can't decide. Bye. Take care. Okay, so I've dealt with him. I've dealt with him. That. 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 Apparently, I'm not allowed on that. Tried that. I've not clicked. Oh wait, no, I did. Did I? Every ticket's a winner. No blanks no. guaranteed. So, are there any prizes? Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trubelang. American Chinese. Okay, man. It's like when we have our Chinese menus and it says English dishes. It just say American dishes down there and that's, that's where you're picking from. How much for a ticket? One ticket, 50 fenix. But I'm afraid I've, all I've, tickets have been sold. Yeah, I've, I've done all this. Bummer. I'm sorry. I need to find a ticket. I'll be leaving then. Where is the bin? Is there a bin? Anything going up here? Hmm. No. I doubt I did. Check phone, try the link after. Yeah, yeah, I, I acknowledge, I just didn't mention. Because, obviously, we spoke about it, which is how you should know that I checked my phone. Oh, sorry, are you stuck now? This way, you fucking plebeian. Book it! Alright. <laughs> Must be something going in down the earth. There we go. That's a ticket for the raffle. This must be my lucky day. Called it. We are going to wrap up in a minute. Step right up. Every 
tickets a winner. No blanks, guaranteed. Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trube Lanka. So what's the sailor doing there then? Why would he care? Oh, then suddenly everyone's gone. Okay, sure. Here's my ticket. See? I found a ticket. Now look at that. You're a lucky fella. Now let's see what fortune has in store for you. Are you ready? This is your prize. A can of... Cat food. Oh. Generously mm. provided by the Truba Puck Advertisers Association. Uh. Oh my. Thanks. I guess. Well, enjoy. That'll come in handy when we need to learn about the cat. Which is a fox. Can I... Wait, yeah, sorry, I forgot that we uh, that we actually found the fishing around here. For a minute there, my brain went completely aloof. Okay, so I've got cat food, so that's certainly useful for something. Use with, use with, no gain, no options. Moving on. But you, no, you, no, okay. That's where I got the knots. You, no, you, no, you, no. Bucket? Oh, yeah, try that. <coughs> Useless. Okay. Anything I can call the crows to back this way? Murder of crows! Don't worry, got your drive. Louisville. I mean, just landing on a tree, that's pretty much expected, though, right? Can't see anything special happening here. Unless maybe I'm meant to distract them from something, but never. don't even know where to go. No. That's relatable right now. Come on, lad. Before I go there, let's try going up here and seeing if I can use the cat food and anything there. It's highly unlikely. Oh, fuck me. Hello. Nice evening for a walk, isn't it? Eerie. There's something in the air. Can you smell it? Spruces. Spruces, firs, pines. I was always bad at telling conifers apart. Where spruces prickle, firs just tickle. Fur? That's Tana in German. Just like my name. Never thought about it. Why? What's your name? Tannhauser. We'd pronounce it Tannhäuser with an umlaut. German roots? Yes, my grandpa. Is he smoking? When's he been smoking before. These things on the ground, we call them fur cones. I'll just speak to her and start smoking. As a fact, okay. though, they are actually spruce cones. Did you know that? What do you mean, actually? Well, fur cones come to pieces when they fall off the trees. Spruce cones stand. Yeah, I've never played Turok. Something. You fool. You have to see them. But yeah, pizza, You're obviously. You've not got an Indian nearby. It's gonna no, be pizza. Just visiting. Getting accustomed to it, I guess. You want a you pro know. fucking tip though. I come here for the beautiful view. Get yourself an Indian, right? Find the means. Get yourself just a chicken korma. Or as some places call it a chicken korma, right? But get yourself a margarita pizza, okay? Dip that margarita pizza in that chicken korma slash korma sauce and be awakened to an entirely new taste sensation. 
oh my fucking days, that is what I need to do this week. Fuck yes. Oof, need to find funds for that. <laughs> oh shit, yes. Okay, right. Uh, any anything else? Smoke? No thanks. I quit. The climate makes me feel a lot better. That's for sure. Totally worth it. Spark, light, puff, and gone. I hope you roll on your own. At least that way, it's not fucking horrifically expensive. A meteor crashed down on the other side of the lake. Okay. There's no way you're checking your inventory, right? It says here, show inventory. Ah, uh, oh. Does that mean if I... Yeah, hold it down. I, I've got inventory. Okay, cool. Gravy. Weird green gravy. Got jar. Got plane ticket. Got a number nap. What the fuck is any of this? Nuts and cat food. Right, I want to go back up here. See if I can get in this window yet. They're having a blast up. I can't. Okay, next job, daughter. Speaky bobs. Hi, Lainey. What's cracking? They are showing the Great Twilight Area Celebration Marathon today. Twelve hours of bliss in a row. They are having the ever so riveting town fair outside. Wouldn't you like to go out to the real world once in a while? The real world is in there. Can't you see? There is ice cream and cotton candy waiting outside. I'll think about it. But for now, I need to keep on watching. She's back. She's back in one of these. Must be. She's back in her per. Oh, fucks it. Well, I say I fucked it. Clearly, there wasn't a relevant answer to be had. Irrelevant. 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 They don't do fucking takeaways. In all my years, I have never known an Indian restaurant to not do takeaways. That is pure insanity. Truda? Hello, Professor. Hello. I would like to. Oh, yes, of course. Ah. I'll be. Make yourself. Oh, I think we're at a dead end. I'm missing something, obviously. station night where I don't want my cigarette I don't even want my beer if I keep going there'll be no more prizes left for the rest of the competition it's a shooting gallery for kids oh for god's sake just fucking walk over there. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Use it as an excuse. Unless he's got anything fresh. Baron? Mr. Tamhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all mine. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win anything? I won a pair of hiking boots. Give them. <sighs> Take a look at me. How am I supposed to wander anywhere? You, on the other hand, Mr. Tannhauser, 
You look like the type to be struck by wanderlust once in a while. Oh, auf dem gelben Wagen sitzt ich beim Schwagerfahren. Ja, ja, so war das. Easy Germans. What about you? Are you dead? Did you have any luck with your ticket? I won this. Excuse me, is that a catch for Oh, it's so chance? obvious. I am asking on behalf of Klaus. He loves cat food. Uh, would you mind making a trade? What do you have in mind? You leave this delicious can of cat food to Claus and me, and uh, in return, I give you this new pair of hiking boots, size 13. Uh, what do you think? Yes. Sounds like a perfect deal. So let's make it so. It will be make to your so. benefit. I've got booties. You look like you need some. I just need a moment to reach operational temperature. You're a fucking idiot. Can I set you on fire? Any more for boots? Do we need any boots? No. Yeah. Right. I'm going to call it at that. Because I've developed a little bit further than where I was at. And also, because I'm starving hungry, it's only going to be about 10 minutes earlier than I intended to call this shit for the evening. And as per usual, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend my evening with you. So, jobs are good. Happy days. And I've still got to finish Legend Shoot Larry, so we'll get back to that at some point as well. What a delightful time to be alive. It's been nearly an hour since I tried to communicate with Tess. And nothing. Fucking banging. Yeah, man, I'm out. I've got to go uh, cook something. Don't know what, but I need to eat because I've not eaten since yesterday, and you know that that is not a good thing. So I need to go and cook something up. See what's in the freezer, and make it so. And then whatever tomorrow brings is what tomorrow will bring. I was going to say, oh, maybe we'll do a cheeky stream tomorrow, but no, I don't have to take kids to school. Monday morning, and that won't work. Alas, alas, that tells me. Yeah, no doubt we will. No doubt we will. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay 30 minutes back when it was half two, and then I continued to play the game, and that's 20 minutes, which is closer to 30 than it is zero. So, and he gets, and Paul gets free pizza. Free pizza. We, we can't argue with that. We can't. So, with that said, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in this eve to experience uh, seven and a half hours of what I played Tuberbrook for, condensed into two hours and twenty. Which I think is pretty fucking impressive. Jobs are good. I'll catch you on the flip side. Touch me down, blood. Next time.